With 5G gearing up around the world, the industry is looking to next phase of deployment and performance. Huawei presents its innovations from its commercial 5G RAN portfolio, including massive MIMO AAUs that support a maximum 400 MHz bandwidth, and Super Uplink to help operators build fast and efficient 5G networks. Ms. Huda Bustanshi, Research Director of Global Data, shares her perspectives on Huawei's latest 5G product and solution innovation. Welcome to Huawei 5G Live. I'm Professor Sally Eaves, and it's a pleasure to be here today with Huda Bustanshi, who's the Research Director at Global Data. Lovely to meet you. Thank you, Sally. Thanks for having me. Absolute pleasure. And obviously, we're at stage here to moment, moment, talking about 5G, talking about this era of deployment and really scaling that. Mm -hmm. And from your perspective, I wanted to ask how you feel that operators can best optimise their spectrum um, and basically build that consumer experience, which is at the heart of competitiveness. Mm -hmm. You know, spectrum efficiency is key in the industry today. Uh, you know, spectrum is a scarce resource. When you look at spectrum allocations in uh, a number of countries, really, many telcos have found themselves with very segmented, fragmented mm -hmm. spectrum resources. So uh, they really net, need to get the most out of their existing mm -hmm. spectrum resources and uh, resort into spectrum efficiency solution is uh, key, such as uh, dynamic spectrum sharing or massive MIMO. And, uh, you know, uh, it was interesting today uh, to see that that was a key consideration in a number of product launches by uh, Huawei. So if you look at the, uh, for instance, the sub uh, six gigahertz all-in-one um, AAU that really uh, provides a 400 megahertz uh, capacity okay. and kind of, um, you know, takes all this segmented uh, spectrum and reunites it in one box. So um, it really helps, uh, you know, achieve the spectrum efficiency. 5G FDGNR is another example, uh, for instance, with um, which can help telcos uh, achieve, you know, faster and uh, better network coverage with better latencies as well. What technologies do you think are key now for operators to really drive forward this innovation through 5G? Really, any technology which will help telcos fast track their 5G deployments at a lower cost with a, achieve a better network performance mm -hmm. and most importantly unlock these new monetization business models. So we talked about the massive MIMO, we talked about the network uh, slicing, uh, we can talk also about these um, uh, the, um, the Blade AAU yes. uh, that really brings together the uh, massive MIMO and the passive 3G, 4G, 5G unit and can help telcos uh, achieve a better uh, space efficiency and uh, you know uh, fast track the uh, site acquisition uh, time um, mm -hmm. as well. How do you think operators can best embrace that opportunity? What do you think needs to be done to help them achieve that? First of all, really understand the specific needs, challenges and priorities, digital transformation priorities of each specific vertical industries. If you look at the oil and gas sector, for instance, you know, 5G can power predictive maintenance for the pipes. It can, you know, power and, uh, you know, the exploration process or the drilling process by uh, help, se help and send real time data to the interpretation uh, central teams. But also telcos need to have in place, you know, the right uh, technical uh, solutions to support Absolutely. that, to support lower latencies, to achieve uh, you know a kind of end-to-end -end, uh, network uh, slicing needed as well. Absolutely, thank you so much, Yuda. Really appreciate that. Thank you, nice Sally. broad range of where we are, how we can really gear up through 5G, and what we need to do and integrate to help make that happen. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Pleasure.